everybody doing? Good. 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 All right, we'll open up the room here for some questions for Coach. Don, you talk about uh, not only K-Ron going over 1,000 yards for the season, which is a tremendous accomplishment, but Greg having the kind of breakout day that he did. 160 he, yards. Especially against a team that's kind of a hometown team for him. Yeah, there's no doubt. And uh, three touchdowns. You know, I mean, that's a, that's a solid effort. And happy with the way he uh, went about his business. You know, he's kind of fought the bug a little bit, the, the old injury bug and all that. And, uh, you know, I thought he had a breakout game today. You know, that's kind of the things that we expect from him. And it's nice when you have a pair that you can, uh, you know, lean on uh, to make yards for you. And, and really, you know, we had the uh, kickoff return and then we uh, blew the, you know, we had some injuries and we substituted and uh, we blew the trick play and, you know, which was a disappointing deal. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's nice to see one side of the ball pick up the other. And there was a period of time we weren't doing much on the offensive side and defensively, you know, we took care of business through the first half and had a third quarter shutout in the third quarter. We didn't allow a point, which we've done seven or eight times this year. So, you know, getting some things done. Uh, yeah, so good. How much easier is your operation with the running game going the way it was today? Well, when you can run the ball, and uh, a spec, you know, well, let's take it this way. We, were, we, di we, didn't get, we didn't run the ver ball very well in the first half. But in the second half, we ran it at will. You know, and really, Greg kind of gave us, you know, the, the, the little bit of a lightning strike there that, you know, seemed like every time he was touching the ball, it was a, you know, it was a multiple yard yard deal so you know good for him what a what a great young man and and uh obviously uh you know first class individual and you know that's the one thing too you know i had a lot of people reach out to me oh you know you better watch out for complacency that was not an issue all week the guys just came in got ready to play and went out and played, I, I thought, a solid game. Now, you know, there's things that happen in the game that you're not very happy about. Kickoff return for a touchdown is not good. We had two unsportsman likes uh, where we hit the guy clearly out of bounds. That one wasn't good. Uh, there's a couple DPIs. I mean, if you're calling that one and it's ten balls 10 yards out of bounds, I got to hang up with it a little bit. But, you know... I get along good with all those guys, so you know we don't we don't uh, we don't keep it personal. But a um, lot of good lot of good stuff. Complimentary football. I thought you know defensively we kind of took care of business in the first half and and gave the offense the opportunity to get kind of get their get their sea legs and get their get their motor running. And second half they uh, I thought they really t you know took it. Uh, Took it to him in the second half for sure. Defense seemed to create a lot of pressure today. What did you see out of the pass rush unit? Well, we, we, the whole plan was, you know, we've done a lot of cover, four-man rush, a lot of twist game, and we've been successful with it. But this was an opponent we felt like attacking them and rushing with five, we would have an opportunity to get to the quarterback. And we did. Uh, I don't know what the numbers were uh, in terms of that piece, but you know they were five, uh, four of thirteen on third down. That's not good. You know, for us, that's you know less than thirty percent. 
and our goal is to be under 30%, and it was 25. So, uh, you know, obviously a, a good scenario there. Um, yeah, I think this is our lowest yard total of the year. And uh, obviously we had a very solid day offensively as well, 359. Yep, 359 for, the, for our offense and 226 against for the defense. With the offense, what went into the, kind of your offensive game plan? It felt like Tyson was taking a lot more deep shots and taking a more vertical approach to it. Yeah, I mean, we just felt like we had opportunities there uh, to get the ball down the field based on some of the coverage stuff they were doing. But at the same time, they make it really difficult for you on a down-to-down -down basis because they fill all the gaps. When you play man coverage, that means one extra guy is in the box. And you've got to make sure you know what you're doing. And I thought we did a good job game planning uh, and adjusting in the second half. With the momentum of a couple of wins now, is it tough to – take a break for a week, or would you rather have the time just to get the guys right and get them, get them healthier? Uh, I, I'm one of those guys that when stuff happens, I kind of take heed to it. But, you know, after, you know, when we came off the bye uh, and then beat Army and the preparation on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, boy, I thought we were on the beam – did the right things on those three particular days, football-wise. So I'm kind of looking forward to that piece. I don't know about the, the rest part of it. I'm just looking forward to having a, a great Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in, in a very similar structure that we had, you know, getting ready for Army. Was that the first time that it won two games in a row since 2018? Yes. Now, and then... Going into year three after this, what does that say about the progress ever since you took over? Yeah, I leave that where it is. I'm just proud of the players. Um, you know, I will say this amongst us. Uh, you know, there's some games there that were early in the season that, you know, if you've got Fumacao at quarterback, you know, healthy. You know, because there's games he played that he was getting healthy. Uh, you know, and we weren't, you know, didn't have the full arsenal um, for him at his, this, you know, at his display. So it made it a little bit tougher. But, you know, uh, I feel good about what I felt good prior to this that we were going in the right direction. Now you've got some creditable, you know, criteria where you can say, all right, we're going in the right direction. But I do think we're going in the right direction. And I I guess I'm 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 not unhappy that we have a buy. I, I'll take the buy. Uh we'll we'll prepare well and um, you know get ready to play our last two games. Does preparation and rest look any different during the bye week? Yes. Uh, preparation is fairly intense, but less uh, less time on task. In other words, that practice goes from two hours and 15 minutes down to an hour and 45. Everything we do in that practice, though, is full speed. It's fast. And that's what you're trying to do is get your guys to practice at full speed, get your guys to get better at techniques and fundamentals that you can carry over, and, uh, and at the same time, have a little fun with football, you know, with the guys. Uh, you know, we feed them pretty well, so on, on, and especially uh, during the bye week. So I know that sounds crazy, but, you know, you get to spend a little time with them as young men, not just uh, number 44. you got to play, you got to brush the passer better. So, you know, all those kind of things. But... Great, great. That's a great question. I'll tell you. Uh, I think there are many teams that, based on what they do during the bye week, they do not get themselves ready to play on the weekend. Thanks, coach.
Good? Good.